Hi, welcome back to NFT Gaming and for today's video, I'm going to do a video about Farmer's World. So in my previous video, I have actually shown you guys how much you can earn by actually owning a farm plot and buying all those barley seeds. However, on this video, I'm going to show you how much is the profit when you are owning a coop. So if you guys do not know yet, a coop is where you can actually breed your chicken. And for this case, you can only breed a maximum of 3 chicken compared to the farm plot where you can actually plant 8 plot. So now I'm going to show you how much is the cost, the revenue and of course the profit of owning all three chickens so the first thing that you need to know is how much it costs to purchase that coop and the cost of buying the coop right now is about $800 and as per normal this is not the final cost you will need to add on the food cost as well so in total you will need an additional of 400 food and the 400 food is now equivalent to about $700 so if you add the total up it will cost you roughly about 1.5k just by building the coop and the cost of owning the coop doesn't stop there first you need to know how much is the cost for each of the nfts and that is the egg the chick and the chicken as you can see over here one egg can cost you about 1.2k a chick can cost you about $300 a single chicken can cost you about 1.5 to 1.6k so now you know how much is the cost of each nfts and how much the cost of the coop now comes the confusing part whether you will need to actually buy the egg the chick or the chicken so over here i have put a cost of each stage and what it means is that if let's say you buy an egg and then proceed on to beat it till the chicken it will cost a certain amount so let's say for example over here from egg to chick you will need nine food and nine food actually now costs about fifteen dollars and for you to grow your egg to chick the total cost is only $15 and this does not include the cost of the NFT. Now, if you want to grow your chick to chicken, you will require 16 Bali and 16 Bali right now costs you about $3,100. And of course, once you have your chicken, you will need to have 28 Bali in order for you to reap the rewards. And the total cost of 28 Bali is roughly about 5.4K. Now, you know that the total cost from each stage to the next stage, you will find more confusing when I show you guys this table right over here. So this table right over here mentioned that it's a total cost for each stage. So let's say for example you want to grow your egg to the chicken and reaping the reward. You will need a total of 9.7k or I can say uh, roughly about 10k. And that is if you start from the egg itself. And if you are planning to start from chick, the total cost is about 8.8k or more closer to 9k. However, as you can see over here, it will be better for you guys to actually purchase the chicken directly and skip the breeding process from the egg to the chicken since the total cost would only about 7k so this 7k have already included the total cost of the nfts and what i mean by that is that this 5.4k will be add on with the 1.5k which give us about 7k so right now you know the true total cost of each stage now it's time for me to show you how much is the revenue and how much is the profit so let's say you have one chicken and it can only lay about four eggs and as you guys know one egg can cost you about 1.169k and you multiply it by 4 you get about 4.6k however that is only the revenue you will still need to minus off your cost and that will actually give us a negative 3.7k and the subsequent profit you will have about negative 775 however the case of the chicken giving you the reward of 4 eggs is very very rare so let's take the minimum and let's say it's 5 eggs and 5 eggs can give you revenue about 5 0.8k however for the first time your profit will be about negative 2.6k and the subsequent profit will actually net you at 394 dollars but you guys need to remember that it doesn't always give you a reward of five since i can say that 60 percent of the time they will give you six eggs and as you can see over here six eggs can actually net you about 1.5k after minusing all the costs on your subsequent profit however if you notice over here for the first time when you actually read the benefits your profit will always stays negative you can only profit from your chicken only after you pay for all the cost of the coop and the initial cost of the chicken now assuming you have three chicken and these three chicken actually lays five eggs so if three chicken lays five eggs you can get about 15 eggs and with 15 eggs you can get about 1.1k for every time you reap rewards however let's assume that two chicken actually lay five eggs and one of the chicken actually can lay six eggs so the total number of eggs is 16 and as you can see over here 16 eggs will actually net you about 2.3k 
okay for every single time that you're trying to reap your benefits. Now, I know most of you guys will probably be confused about the barley as well since you might think that it's not worth to actually open the coop and just earn through the barley. However, that is a misconception since once you actually earn your profit over here, it basically is rolling for your next profit and you are not touching your barley profit at all. So, let's say for example over here, you have a 3 chicken laying at a total of 16 egg. Your profit is at 2.3k for the coop itself and another 2.6k on top of your coop earnings. So if you guys add it up, your earnings can be about 5k for every 20 days. So as you can see that the total earning from each of the map will be individual by itself. However, I know some people actually use the barley that they grow over here to feed on their chicken but personally, I think I would like to actually make the farm plot by itself and do not touch the coop at all. Meaning whatever barley that I have produced, I will intend to actually sell it and not supply the barley to the coop. And my reason for that is actually to become more organized and not to be confused about the profits in the future. However, you guys do need to take note that the price or the revenue or the profit that i shown you guys only happens at the current price during the video that I have made. Definitely, if the price actually go down, then your profit and your revenue will go down as well. I know the coop earnings can be a little bit complicated since they require barley for you to actually earn your aid. But I realized that if you actually take out the equation of the barley from the farm plot, the calculation would be much easier. So my advice is do not touch the barley that you earn from your farm plot and invest a separate amount on your coop. However, that is my personal opinion. So you guys might probably do a different way than mine. And of course, if you love this kind of content, do give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, I will see you guys again the next time.